So this is a quick tutorial to show you how to update the backgrounds on Orange Parents. So it's currently going to rotate and I believe I have it set on reload to change the image. Um, so anytime you go to a different page uh, it'll show a different image there that we've got set. So this is how to up the, uh, up, excuse me, update those images and um, and, and make some changes to them and create or and add different image sets. So under appearance on the dashboard you go to background and this is what's called the background manager. So currently we have two different sets of images here. So in the main which it's on currently it has two images. That's what this number means here. And in the originals I've got 32. So the way those are set is under this tab here, which is image sets. And we can edit this. So we can go in here and we could delete this image or we could add another image. Um, you just say add and then you could go to like your media library and say I want I want to add this fireworks show and say so I open I hit show and then I say copy to image set and it'll add it in here so now we've got three images under the main set so I'm gonna hit save changes If you don't hit save it won't save that uh, you won't have that third image when you go back so I'm gonna go back to settings here and now the main has three images um, another way to do that too if you wanted to add an image that was on your local drive you just hit edit and this works just like how adding an image in WordPress anywhere. So you could download it from a URL or your media library, uh, I'm sorry, or from your computer. And you just say select and then go grab that image. So that's how you would do that. That's, so that's adding an image. There's some settings here that the background manager has. Um, so you can make it active on, I have it currently active on all the pages for Orange, uh, for Orange Parents. Uh, you can have it select an image um, for each browser session. So that would mean if I come to the site for that visit that I'm there until I leave the site, it'll, um, it'll create a browser session. So while I'm there, it'll have the same image. And then when I come back, most likely it'll have a different image, you know, after I've closed out my browser or gone to another, navigated to another site or then come back. On page reload, that's just like a refresh. So anytime you go to a different page, you know, go to a different page, it's going to load a different image. That's what we have it on currently. Or you can just have it rotate every 30 seconds. We, or, you know, and set the time. You know, set a, some kind of time limit on it. I wouldn't recommend this just because I think it is a... Um, it becomes kind of a memory hog then on the visitor's browser and on their machine. So... You can certainly do it. If you're going to do it, I would probably do it at least every five minutes or two minutes. Um, so, but that's just just something to note that it, it is a bit of a process hog to do something like that with the JavaScript. Um, let's see. So then there's some other settings in here. I think you're going to want to keep most of these the same. Um, but yeah, you can kind of look in here and see what, what we got there. So there's that's so that's basically in a nutshell. That's background manager. Um, if I wanted to change it to a different set, because I've got two, I'm going to show you that. So you could set up in here, you could have different sets. You could do like fall, spring, summer, winter, however you wanted to set it up. Um, and then just, you know, select those in this background manager as need be. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change it to this and just show you that now it'll give us a new subset of images here. So if I go back here and I hit refresh. Now it's showing us all different types of images. So I think it works pretty much like your other system was. I just this is a good tutorial, just kind of show you how to um, how to manage it. All right, that's it. Thanks.